I want to address my fellow Conservative Party members directly. Being leader of the Conservative Party is one of the hardest jobs in the world. Being Prime Minister of the United Kingdom is much, much harder. And the next couple of years will be one of the toughest periods in the entire history of the job. Putin has launched a major military operation against Ukraine. Well, the conflict in Ukraine and the sanctions on Russia have led to another surge in the cost of The cost of living gas. in the UK is rising. All evidence suggests this is just the start. To have any chance of success, the occupant of number 10 Downing Street will need to be quite an exceptional individual. I think I know that individual. Let me take you to Richmond, 2014. If you're from Yorkshire or the North, you will know this Richmond, a constituency covering many hundreds of square miles of farmland, national parks, market towns, a couple of hundred hamlets and villages. It is one of the best places in the world to live. Of course, I would say that, wouldn't I? Its people are skeptical of politicians. They harbour a northern, no-nonsense conservatism. Any idea that you can give away money you haven't earned or that government is the answer to every problem is met with a dismissive... Don't be daft. I represented Richmond in the House of Commons for 26 years until 2015. And I will never forget the scene when hundreds of locals assembled to choose my successor as the Conservative candidate. I think we got 70 applications. I was actually in the office when he first called up to say he wanted to succeed William Hague. A farmer would be good or a military man. Some of them chunted on the way in. We need a local candidate, said others. Or obviously they have to come from Yorkshire. That's a given. Well, the biggest challenge that Rishi had was he came from Southampton. Rishi didn't come from an agricultural and from a rural background in any way. Well, there was a military person, there was somebody from Yorkshire, and there was a farmer, uh, and there was Rishi. So it was, if you like, a bit of a wild card. <laughs> when they filed out of the selection vote three hours later, they had chosen someone new to farming issues with no army career, who wasn't local, not even from Yorkshire, and who was from an ethnic minority brought up in Southampton. He walked in and they said you could feel the room lift. I went in there knowing a couple of the candidates um, quite personally quite well and Rishi just, just blew me away. It was, it was just fantastic. I honestly didn't expect that he would get the constituency vote. But they said it was just magic. He, he took the place by storm. You just knew that you were talking to somebody who was very, very special. They were stunned, but thrilled. They had chosen Rishi Sunak. At the election that followed, local independents and UKIP fancied their chances against this newcomer. But they were all routed by Rishi who turned out to be a highly energetic, bright, emotionally intelligent candidate. I have campaigned with literally thousands of candidates. I have mentored dozens. It was soon apparent that this one was the most assiduous and effective I had ever known. If I said he should visit someone in the hills, he would be there the next day for hours, just listening to them. He has a hunger to learn, to understand. One day when I suggested he take it easy after a late event, he said he was getting up at 5 a.m. to join a farmer milking cows. You don't really have to do that, I assured him. I know, he said, but I really want to know what it's like. I've got to understand for myself. That, that's the nature of Rishi, you know, he likes to understand what people are doing. He's an icon up here, you know. He's got a very good grasp of local affairs and he puts an awful lot into it. I think he must have gone round nearly every house in Midland, it was amazing. Having grown to admire him through months of touring Yorkshire villages together, 
I almost don't wish on him this position, one of the hardest jobs in the world at the worst moment in decades. But then I think about the next Prime Minister, sitting late at night in Downing Street, working out how to help people with energy bills, sort out the Northern Ireland Protocol, maintain the unity of the West. The best hope is a highly disciplined, rational individual, one who always does their utmost to understand. Such a person is a very rare find in British politics. Members should realize that they have one in their midst. His name is Rishi Sunak. He has my full support.